Looking for a cast, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, it's teacher training of the future. That's right. Hundreds of local teachers are about to get a lesson from a real hologram. Sally McDonald is live in Cyprus with the details. Hey, good morning, everybody. Yeah, we're about to get an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at this incredible technology here at the Berry Center. Take a look at the room, the theater here. Hundreds of teachers and administrators are filling the room here. They're going to get training today from a person who is not actually here, but will be beamed in in brilliant 3D. I want to introduce you now to Paul Duffy. Watch the screen very closely now as he Huma ports in. He is the inventor of the so-called Humagram and the CEO of Art Media. And there he is. It's like something out of Star Trek, right? Hey, Paul, good morning to you. Hey, good morning. How you doing? And you are actually here in a real scale. Uh, we can engage and interact as if you were standing right next to me. So tell me about this technology and how it works, Paul. Well, thanks. And um, yeah, we're having a great time. We've been here at the Berry Center for a few days. Uh, basically, what I'm doing is I'm beaming into the stage. Uh, as you can see, I'm a 3D human hologram. Um, you know, we use this technology to take essentially the best in the world and beam them out to the rest of the world. So educators, subject matter experts, authors, etc. Um, so the technology works uh, by basically capturing a person, beaming them through the public internet, and then just displaying them onto one of these holographic stages that you're actually standing in front of right now. Mm -hmm. And Paul, we've seen, of course, Skype and Facebook and how that's an easy way to interact with someone. What sets this apart and what impact do you think it could have in the education setting? Well, you know, in this case, what we do is uh, we actually put the stages uh, into venues like we have now or into uh, smaller cl classrooms. Uh, we allow the humogram to look into the audience, interact with it, take questions, do full Q&A. But you can do it in a full body environment. You've got all the verbal and nonverbal communication skills happening. So it's a phenomenal little technology to roll into that space. Mm -hmm. And you can see I don't have to wear 3D glasses to see him. You know, I can, I can interact completely uh, normally with him. Uh, What's your hope for the future? What other fields do you see this going into? Well, you know, we're having a great time putting the technology into a variety of different uses. So, you know, the obvious ones are retail, trade shows, conferences. But what we're really excited about are areas not just within education, but in healthcare. You know, where we can bring the expertise of, uh, you know, very well-known physicians and push them out into communities that would otherwise not have access to them. All right, Paul, thanks so much. Coming up in our 8 o'clock hour, guys, that's when uh, they're actually for the first time going to deliver this technology in an educational setting to teachers and administrators here in SciFair ISD. So stay tuned for more coming up in our 8 o'clock hour. For now, we're reporting live at the Berry Center. I'm Sally McDonald, Fox 26 News. It is Amazing so technology. high tech. And yes. Sally, my church, we have two different churches, and so sometimes the pastor will hologram himself out to the other church and vice versa. And when he's there, I, I forget that he's not real sometimes. It's overwhelming. It's so real. I bet you felt the same way. It is very, very cool technology, yeah, and for the potential that it has for so many different fields is, is really cool. That is wow. amazing. So glad you showed it to us. Yeah, thanks a lot. Gotta love high tech.